Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel, Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, parabola, one of the example problems, which is very important for 7 marks. Let us have a discussion. The question here, prove that the two parabolas, y square equal to 4x and x square equal to 4by intersect other than origin at an angle of tan inverse of we have to prove the result tan inverse of 3 into a power 1 by 3 into b power 1 by 3 by 2 times of a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3 so first how to proceed to solve this problem we need to calculate the point of intersection of both the curves. See how to do the point of intersection here. X square equal to 4BY. Angle between them. First rough figure also I am going to draw that. Y square is equal to 4AX figure. This is y square equal to 4ax x square equal to 4by the point of intersection of these two curves this is y square equal to 4ax and this is x square equal to 4by I hope everyone understand that this is the point of intersection of uh, both the curves. Clearly it is origin. In the question, they mentioned, prove that the parabolas y square equal to 4x and x square equal to 4by intersect other than origin. So other than origin means where they are intersecting at this point. We know that in the first year, tangent anomalous concept. The angle between the two curves is defined as the angle between the two tangents at their point of intersection. For this curve, this is the tangent equation. For this curve, this is the tangent equation. There, we are taking an angle theta. This is the point of intersection. I will calculate now. So, at this, find out both the tangent slopes. First curve slope tangent M1 calculate and second curve tangent slope calculate M2. At this point, this point I am going to calculate now. So that also how it will come. So given equation of parabolas. So parabolas you write it now. Y square equal to 4x. Equation number 1 and second curve x square equal to 4by. This is the first step dear students. After that, I am going to solve these two equations to get this point of intersection other than center, other than origin dimension. So from equation 2, equation 2 implies that y making subject. So, y is equal to x square divided by 4b. Are you getting all of you? Squaring on both sides, you will get y square is equal to x power 4 divided by 4b whole square means 16b square. Since from equation 1, y square value is what? 4x. Since from equation 1, y square value 4ax is equal to x power 4 by 16b square. So here one of the x cancel here, x cube cross multiplication, 16 fourths of 64, a into b square is equal to x cube. I want x value. If you want to remove cube here, taking power rise on both sides with whole power 1 by 3. So, 
64 can be written as 4 power 3 a b square whole power 1 by 3 here 3 here 3 get cancelled so here also 4 power 3 whole power 1 by 3 a power m whole power m 3 3 get cancelled 4 will be there a power 1 by 3 b power 2 into 1 by 3 is equal to x everyone got it now x value so this x value substitute in this y value will come so x is equal to 4 a power 1 by 3 b power 2 by 3 substitute in even here also we can substitute this to this here y equal to x square by 4b you will get y is equal to x square means this value is square 16 a power 2 by 3 into b power 4 by 3 by 4b 4 ones are 4 fours so b we can take in the numerator 4 by 3 minus 1 1 by 3 so y is equal to 4a power 2 by 3 b power 1 by 3 this is y value. Therefore, the point of intersection is PI. Are you able to see all of you? One minute, I will check it. Yeah. I think you are not able to see here. Just have a rub it. So, this point of intersection here I am writing 4A power 1 by 3, B power 2 by 3. Come of 4 a power 2 by 3 b power 1 by 3. This is the point of intersection of both the curves. Now, at this point, this is x1, y1, dear students. Now, find out the slope of first curve. What is the first curve? y square is equal to 4ax. Differentiate with respect to x. y square derivative 2y. Again, y derivative dy by dx is equal to 4ax. 4a constant x derivative is 1. So, I want dy by dx. So, dy by dx is equal to 4a by 2y. That is equal to 2a by y. First curve slope. So, dy by dx I am taking as m1. So, m1 is equal to dy by dx. At the point p also you can calculate dear students. p means this one. In place of y and x. This is x. This is y. So y only know. So 2a by y value. y value substitute 4. a power 2 by 3. b power 1 by 3. So 2 1s are 2 2s are. So m1 equal to. E a power 2 by 3 we can take into the numerator. Here a power is what? 1. 1 minus 2 by 3. So 1 by 3 will come. So 1 by 2. A power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3. I hope everyone understand. M1 value we got it. Similarly M2 also you can. What is the second curve slope? Second curve. X square is equal to 4 dy. Differentiate with respect to x. d by dx of x square to x. 4b constant. y derivative is dy by dx. So that implies dy by dx makes subject equal to 2 ones or 2 twos are 2x by 4b. That is equal to x by 2b. Second curve slope m2 equal to dy by dx at p. So, x value is what? This one. 4 a power 1 by 3 b power 2 by 3 by 2b. So, 2 1s are 2 2s are. So, 2 a power 1 by 3 b power 2 by 3 we can take into the denominator. It will become b power 1 minus 2 by 3 that is 1 by 3. So, therefore, m2 value is equal to 2 into a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3. m1 value we got it, m2 value we got it. Let theta be the 
let theta be the angle between 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Both the curves. Equation 1 and equation 2. Then tan theta equal to right formula. Mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. In place of m1 and m2, these values substitute. So here, m1 value, this one now, m1 value, 1 by 2, a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3, minus 2 into a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3, by 1 plus m1 m2, 1 plus m1 value, 1 by 2 into a power 1 by 3, b power 1 by 3, into 2 times of a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3. Here too, here too get cancelled. So tan theta is equal to in numerator a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3 take common. 1 by 2 minus 2 by here 1 plus a power 1 by 3 into a power, a power 2 by 3 by b power 2 by 3. 1 by 2 minus 2 is minus 4 by 2. Mi 1 minus 4, minus 3 by 2. So, which is equal to mod minus 3 by 2 into a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3 by b power 2 by 3 plus a power 2 by 3 divided by b power 1 by 3. b power 2 by 3. So, now minus 3 by 2 we can model as a power 1 by 3 by b power 1 by 3 by a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3 by b power 1 by 3 into b power 1 by 3 b power 2 by 3 I am writing b power 1 by 3 into b power 1 by 3 so b power 1 by 3 cancel one of that denominator of denominator numerator within modulus minus 3 by 2 to become plus 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 a power 1 by 3 into b power 1 by 3 divided by a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3. Once again, within modulus it will become plus 3 by 2. This b power 1 by 3 denominator of denominator numerator. a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3. So this is what tan theta value. So theta equal to tan inverse of 3 into a power 1 by 3, b power 1 by 3 by 2 times of a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3. Hence the result we are students. I hope you understand. We will move on to the another question in the next video. Those who are watching first time the LAQs from Parabola, please go to the playlist exercise all the problems are there or 3a 3b exercises uh, examples also i'm covering now it will complete it dear students thank you all signing off maths with panindra